using KCL and KVL, get the value of IO for the simple circuit shown below. So looking at the circuit, it is composed of four basic elements. So we have two active elements, so this voltage source and current source, and two passive elements, so the 10 ohm resistor and the 50 ohm resistor. Uh, for me personally, before solving the circuit, let's first identi identify the uh, nodes. So a node is where two or more circuit elements meet. So so this is a node. So this here is a node. And this here is another node. So we will label this node as node A, node as node B, and this node as node C. So by inspection, we can see that uh, this circuit is composed of three loops. So the first loop is here, first loop, second loop, and the third loop is the outer loop. Outer loop. So before solving the circuit, we need to label the voltages and currents of each branch. So you can assume any voltage polarity or current direction for each branch. So we will show later that the assumption for voltage polarities and current directions does not matter because they will uh, still arrive with the same answer. As long as you are consistent with the with your positive and negative sign and with the passive sign convention. So first let us a uh, for this uh, voltage source branch or element, we can assume a current direction going this way. And we will label this as I, I1. Now for this uh, 10 ohm resistor, we can assume the voltage polarity to be negative, negative. And we will label this as B, N. Now for this 50 ohm resistor, so we can assume a current direction going this way and label this as I, 50. And assume the voltage polarity to be negative, negative. And label this as B. Now for the current source, even though this is the current source, there is still a voltage for its terminal. So we will label this as negative, negative, V6. So once we have put all the current direction and voltage polarities, we can proceed with the problem solving using KCL and KVL. So looking at uh, node A, by inspection, we can see that I1 is just equivalent to I0. So by inspection, I1 is just equivalent to I0. So this means that this voltage source 120 volt voltage source and 10 ohm resistor is connected in series. So we'll discuss about uh, circuit connections, which is series and parallel connections in later lectures. If we apply KCL at node B, so KCL at node B, So we have 
IO plus 6 minus I50 equal to 0. Or we can have this, we can rearrange this as I50 equivalent to IO plus we have the first equation. So if you take a look at the first equation, we have two unknowns for I50 and I0. So where do we get the second equation of this problem? So we need to apply AVL at loop, at this loop. Let's label this as loop 1. Loop 1. So, TVL at loop 1. At loop 1. So we have negative 120 plus V10. Plus V50 equal to 0. So for this equation, this equation is expressed in terms of voltages. So we need to express the voltages in terms of current and resistance. So remember, Ohm's law is V equals to I times R. So following the passage and convention, this equation will become V120 plus V10 and I0 follows the passive sign convention. So this becomes 10 I2 plus same with uh, V50 and I50. They follow the passive sign convention. This, this becomes 50 times I50 up to 0. Now we can uh, substitute equation one <coughs> to equation two. So now substituting equation one to equation two, we'll have negative one twenty plus ten I O plus fifty times I O plus six equivalent to zero. Now solving for I O I O is equivalent to three negative three amperes. Now we will try to change the uh, voltage polarity of V50 with negative positive V50. So this will become, let's change this voltage polarity. So this will become negative and positive. So applying KVL at loop 1, the equation here changes. So the new assumption is the polarity of V50. We have KVL at loop 1. We have negative 120 plus V10 minus V50. Equal to zero. Now we will uh, express the voltages in terms of currents. So this equation will become negative one twenty plus. So uh, this is V ten. 
as to V10 and IO follows the passive sign convention, so you see positive uh, sign I IO. Now, if we take a look at V50 and I50, the current I50 now enters the negative sign of the voltage or the negative sign of the element. So we use a negative sign that relates the current and voltage. So we will have this as negative 50 times I50. Equal to 0. So finally, negative 120 plus N I0 plus 50 I50 0. So, which is the same with this equation. So, this shows that if you follow the passive sign convention and be consistent with the positive and negative sign, you will still arrive at the same answer. So, for convenience, when assuming the voltage polarity and current direction, we will follow the passive sign convention. Meaning, the current enters the positive terminals. 